because of the impending end of Title 42 policy. According to the Biden administration itself, they anticipate about 13,000 people coming across the border illegally every single day. If you extend that out over the course of a year, it means there will be about 4,700,000 people coming across the border a year. America is not open to people who are trying to come here illegally. If you want to come to the United States of America, you must do so legally, not illegally. The bottom line is, it did not have to be this way. But know this, Texas is doing more than any state in the history of the United States of America to defend our border. That includes deploying up to 10,000 National Guard members and 1,200 Texas Department of Public Safety troopers. Today we are deploying a new National Guard unit it's called the Texas Tactical Border Force. Right now, as we're speaking, the Texas National Guard is loading Black Hawk helicopters and C-130s, deploying specially trained National Guard members for the Texas Tactical Border Force. They will be deployed to hot spots along the border to intercept, to repel, and to turn back migrants who are trying to enter Texas illegally. Yes, what we have going on right here is we're increasing the size of our position by around six miles of 321 strand concertina line. It's incredible the amount of work these engineers, they are building over half a mile of 321 concertina wire barrier on a daily basis. Basically, our goal is to cut off access to the United States from the Mexico side of the border. Uh, so we're building this concertina wire barrier right at the river's edge, with the intent being that when someone attempts to cross illegally into the United States, we'll be able to interdict them between our concertina wire barrier and the border wall. The Texas Military Department is a highly organized and efficient organization. Basically, we have the ability to bring in additional forces as needed to the point of need anywhere along the border. Every time we increase our position and we install the 321 barrier, it pushes the migrants to the east or the west and basically deters additional crossings. So we have seen effects where we have substantially reduced the number of migrants crossing into El Paso, especially here on the uh, east end. We are here where Texans are supporting Texans this is absolutely a national problem. It is something that requires a national solution. It's projects like that, that this elite uh, National Guard team will be focused on to identify hotspot crossings like that, shut it down.